my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and on this channel we talk about beauty fashion lifestyle and styling today i wanted to kind of come to you guys not really vlog style but kind of um about some things that i'm doing in my home i am redecorating the downstairs of my home and i'm super excited so you guys already saw the chandelier from amazon and the ceiling fan from what did I get the ceiling fan from? Lamps Plus. So my sofa will be coming from Crate and Barrel. I think I mentioned that a few videos back. And this is the color that I got. It's called Frost. And it's the Monet. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really, really, it's really pretty. It's a Chanel, like a Chanel um, fabric. And this I got a month and I want to say a month ago. So it's not going to be here until like mid May. Okay. It is being custom made because of the color that I picked. Um, I did want something lighter. I used to have a blue sofa, really pretty, pretty much brand new, but I wanted to lighten up my space and change the lighting, just the whole aesthetic in my home. So I got it from Crate and Barrel. Now, when you're purchasing from Crate and Barrel, I would say, well, let me backtrack. I wanted to talk about when you are decorating your home or redecorating your home, some steps that I am taking that I think are very, very helpful. And it's kind of like when I work with clients, I'm just a very strategic with things. I don't just run out and just buy everything from, the, from one store. And I've always been like that since my first apartment at 17. So I would say Pinterest boards are really, really great, but use them wisely. You know, if you see a picture of something that you like, maybe you just like the rug color or something like that, just get creative when you're actually doing it. So for me, how I do it is I start with certain pieces, right? I already have the money ready to go, but I'll start with certain pieces. So lighting was really big in here. And I like warm tone colors. It's just something that I like. I've always liked it. So changing my chandelier and my ceiling fan was the first thing. The lights behind me, see those ugly lights? Those are gonna get changed as well, but I'm gonna do all the rest of the lights together at one time. Um, so I started with the chandelier and the ceiling fan because that's where the, the main change is gonna be. Uh, so that's actually helping me get my vision together. So I finally purchased well, the, the sofa is from Crate and Barrel and it's called Gather. I will pop in a photo some photo over here for you guys and I'll try to get the color and see if it picks up on camera for you guys um, in the picture, but it's called Gathered. I did get the 98 inch sofa with the three seats. They have a bench style. Bench style sofas are nice. However, I kind of feel like I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna sink in one. I don't know, if you sit on it a lot. So to me, you can break it up with the three seats. So I got that. It's like not really so much track arms, but they are kind of low. Let me see if this shows a photo in here. Oh yeah. Let me see if you guys can actually see this. Can you see? Yeah, I'm in my, um. you can see it kind of. So, they have a ton of colors. So I start with my lighting first and that actually helps me visualize what else can be in this, in this space. Now, I finally purchased my coffee table. So I was going to get a coffee table from our house, which is really nice. The issue I was having was it was a really dark, dark, almost black but brown color. I saw it in person, it's really nice. Um, it didn't have any storage. So I went on Restoration Hardware, guys, and I saw my coffee table. This one is a wood as well, um, reclaimed wood. I think it's reclaimed wood. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna pop in a photo for you guys. And it has an open space in the middle, so to me that helps with breaking up that area. And so I got that. I did go to, what did I go today? West Elm. Now, I don't like West Elm's furniture. I just feel like it's so small. 
But I went to West Elm to look at some of the rugs and stuff because I need a really nice rug to go over there. I want to break up the colors over there. I am typically one who has a lot of similar colors in my home. But I want to do something a little bit different. And with the gold mirror from Restoration Hardware, I think it's going to look super amazing. So I did find some really nice accent chairs i'm just gonna make sure that i do a lot of reviews because they are from i think they're from all modern and see you know how people are liking them how they're holding up so that's another thing like you don't necessarily have to buy everything from one expensive designer you can definitely break it up some high some low the other thing i do what that i am going to do as after my lighting is i'm going to have my handy guy come to place my mirror on the wall then I can start building my artwork around that. That's gonna help me get that stuff. So the coffee table should be here, but I need my rug to be here first. <laughs> and that's just so I can see. I don't wanna lift it up because I know it's really heavy. I mean, I can roll it over with the little things at the bottom, but I'd rather just have them put it, put it into place. So when my sofa comes and my chairs come, I can just put everything together. So the next thing is I'm gonna work on my artwork. And places that I like to shop for art is Great Big Canvas. Um, sometimes Home Goods, but Great Big Canvas is my go-to place or Etsy. They have really nice artwork. You can buy the artwork from them, poster style, put it in a, a, a frame, or you can use Great Big Canvas. And I'm gonna link their information below. Great Big Canvas is nice because you can get a simple photo, right, a simple photo. You can either put it in a frame, framed art with different color frames, or you can do a floating piece of art, right? That's the second option. Then the other option is canvas, canvas that is framed, and then plain canvas. So you have all these different options with different frame colors. Now the cool thing about the canvas that's framed, they have gold, they have brown, and I believe the other color is black. Really nice. I've been ordering them, ordering from them for years now. All of my artwork is from them. I love it. The artwork behind me, covered over it. Um, got that from them. And what else? My artwork in my office is from them. And I had a piece of artwork in my guest bedroom. So great big canvas is a good place. If you want something a little bit different, like just pictures of yourself, there's a new place, I'm gonna link it below, that I just found. They have really nice frames and you can put your own artwork in it. Just play around with the numbers, see what you like. It kind of spits out the image of the frame of how it's gonna look. Meaning, if you have one and you want like a smaller mat, you can pick that size. If you want a larger mat frame and just a small picture in the middle, you can definitely do that. Now, the frames are not super cheap, but if you're going for a certain look, definitely check them out. I'm gonna link it below. So once I do all of that, and this is just the steps that I take, once my sofa is here, now I know the dining room chairs that I want, I have to sell my dining room table. It's sitting here, it doesn't look bad. You know what, let me show you. Well, you guys have seen it. I think I show you guys. It has silver legs, so that's the only thing. But I know once my sofa comes and my chairs are here, I may be able to still keep it. If not, it's still up to be sold. It's a glass table, it's really pretty. Um, so that's like the last thing that I'm gonna get rid of, but I definitely wanna buy my larger pieces first. And that is how I like to do things. My large pieces I will get first and start piecing everything else together. That way, the bulk of the money is going towards the bigger furniture, especially if it's really expensive. Hence the mirror, hence the coffee table from Restoration Hardware and the mirror from Restoration Hardware. Um, and just kind of go like that. Like, I, make it fun. Don't rush and do it. Buy things that are gonna last you for a long time. Buy things are t that are timeless. Um, buy things that, and when I say timeless, I mean like color-wise, right? So let's just say you want, you. I know people who spend $6,000, $7,000 on a sofa but they usually get a color that's going to kind of be timeless, right? Their accent chairs would be a little bit more bright. You don't necessarily have to spend a lot on accent chairs. You can, but you don't have to, especially with so many nice um, designers out now. You don't really have to. 
And the other thing is probably your rug is gonna be expensive. Mirrors are not cheap, guys. They're not cheap. And dining room chairs are not cheap. They're like 500 a pack, okay? So those are just some of the things that I do. I do like to invest in my furniture. Listen, for a girl who's been on her own since she was very, very young, I've always liked nice things in my home and quality because I don't wanna have to keep replacing it. And I am the same exact way, guys, with my clothes. Certain things I will not budge on, certain things I will budge on, um, especially if it's like a bolder color. And that's solely because it's probably gonna be out of style like the next season. So I like to invest in things that are great quality, home and clothes, guys, okay? So I just wanted to jump on here and give you guys a quick little way if you're going to refurnish anything in your home. Start with your lighting. That will help with everything. And then start adding in your other pieces, investing your things that you really, really love. If you want something and it's expensive, wait for it. Just wait for it. You can find a dupe for it. Now, here's, let me talk about dupes really quick. I like dupes, okay? The only thing about dupes is that sometimes they're not great quality, but there are times where you can find like an exact match. Wood, glass, whatever, you can find an exact match and just because it didn't come from that design doesn't mean that it's not great quality. So look at the reviews, guys. That's, I'm so big, especially if you're ordering anything from Amazon. Look at those reviews. Um, even if you order from a website that you are allowed to put re that they're allowed to put reviews on, look at those as well. And just make it like I don't know. Make it fun. Make it fun when you're doing it. Don't get too caught up in what everybody else is doing. I kid you not, I feel like everyone has the same exact home right now. And it's really, really, really strange to me. Like, they're just like all, they all have the same style. And it's weird. <laughs> it's just weird to me. But I get it, social media is really big, so everyone just kind of picks up what they see. It's just like trends, right? It's all trendy, but no. I'm telling you, you wanna buy things that are gonna be classic and be around for a long time, all right? So those are my quick tips on how to start, you know, doing your home. And let me add another thing. I have neutral walls and I did that on purpose. And that is because I like to add in things sometimes. So if you want a neutral color wall, definitely go to the paint store. You can borrow books from the paint store. You can borrow books of wallpaper and of the paint. And you can bring it home, like a, almost like a library, Look through the book, see what looks good. Get your paint samples, put them all over your home. But I'll tell you this, the reason why your lighting is key is because these walls are accessible beige, but my chandelier is giving it this pretty, I don't know, it's like a, a pretty taupe color kind of, but I know it's lighter than that. But my lighting is making it look a little bit darker, which I actually really like. So. Just make sure you're doing things slowly, take your time, do not rush into it. Like I said, if you want something and that's really expensive, wait for it, okay? If your sofa is gonna be custom made because you don't see anything that you like, just do it. <laughs> Get exactly what you want. It doesn't matter if you have a small studio, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, or a townhome, or a full house, or a mansion, guys. Take your time, get what you want in there, find the best pieces for your home, and slay in your crib, guys. That's how I am. So, that is a quick video on how I would, how I actually prepare to redecorate my entire home. And another, a last thing is, for me, when it comes to selling my things, I definitely use Facebook Market. Facebook Market is a good place. Now, they will try to G you down to like the really low, low price. However, if you're just ready to get rid of stuff, you can definitely just like chop the price down. Um, some things I will not budge on, like my mirrors. I have these really nice mirrors from, they're not, they, they're, they're the mirrors from Z Gallery, but I didn't get them from Z Gallery. Same exact mirror, same price. And the lady was trying to go down so low and I was just like, I will stick them in my other closet like before I go that low on something, so. It's just things, little ways you can get rid of your stuff. If it's damaged, of course don't sell it, but if it's in great condition, try to get as much as you can and put that money towards your new stuff. Um, that's what I did for 
I believe the chandelier. It's just kind of got out some stuff, some pictures, some ottomans, and then I'm gonna replace it. I mean, I, I, mean, I, pur I purchased this chandelier and the ceiling fan. So just a quick way to like save a little bit of money and put more of your money towards the more expensive pieces. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com and my style blog, Coco Styles NYC.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.